Well, I've got this guitar all sanded down. What I did is I repaired a spot here that was all a big chunk missing out of it. I duraglassed it, uh, ever coated it after that. And now I went ahead and used a catalyzed primer on it. From that point, I've let that dry for a day. I've sanded this down, I've sanded the entire body down now, and I'm getting to use all. I'm getting ready to use Autoborn uh, sealer on it. So I'm going to go mix that up, and I'll show you how I mix that. And then we're going to put three coats across this. Let it tack off, and then I'm going to actually, I'm going to be using black, and then I'm actually going to be taking a silver base, and I'm going to wrinkle wrap the whole thing, and then I'm going to clear it today, sand it tomorrow, and do the artwork on it tomorrow. But I'll show you the procedure of how I do this. All right, we're ready to mix it, and it's, it says right on the side of the um, bottle. When you get the bottles, it says right on it what to mix, 9 to 1, 10% volume, using 40-12, reducer which is this right here and we're going to go ahead and mix this up once this is mixed I'm going to use my Iwata W400 and we'll be spraying I'm going to spray three coats on it and I spray them in nice medium wet coats and when you're using this and you're spraying it down make sure the flash time is going to be a little different each time depending on how your heat is how much airflow you have so that's going to vary so if I tell you 10 minutes it could be 15 in your shop Okay, I'm ready. I got my Iwata. It's all mixed up. It's ready to go. We're going to spray a nice even wet coat on. You don't want to get it so wet that it, it will run, especially if you don't have heat and airflow on this. It's different than spraying a urethane. So I'm going to put a nice even coat across it. I'm going to let it flash. And honestly, I let it, I let it flash at least 10 minutes. And then I'll put a second coat on, do the same thing, and then a third coat. Um, if you've got good airflow and good heat, five minutes, you're good to go. But again, it varies in your shop on how you spray it. I'm going to turn my exhaust fan on, I'm going to turn my heat on, put my mask on, get to spraying. So it's going to be noisy. Okay, I didn't have to wait 10 minutes in between coats. I got it about 70 degrees in here. I got fans on it. I got heat on it. So I waited about five minutes in between coats. I put three coats on. Something to remember when you guys are spraying. I only use like a quarter trigger. On the back of your paint gun, if you're a newbie, you can turn this knob right here and it'll adjust your trigger flow, which will set it from pulling all the way. Which will, If you have it wide open, it'll just spray a full pattern on it and it'll get it really wet. If you choke it down a little bit by turning your knob here, it'll adjust the pattern to where you're just spraying a little bit on. So what I use is I'll use part trigger, just pulling the trigger a little ways, which will create air, put airflow over top of it, and then pull the trigger and put a little bit of paint back and forth across it. It helps speed up the process. Um, I'm just letting it dry right now. I'm going to clean my gun. I'm going to show you how I clean it. It's nothing fancy. I got a squirt bottle full of water and basically all I do is just squirt it inside just like you do lacquer thinner if you're using your thing spray it back through and it wipes right out super clean I, I got a uh, sink out back here that I'm going to go put it through the sink wash it through spray it all out and dry it out now I'm going to be using some auto air aluminum base and again all the mixtures are right here on the side of the um, bottles when you get them this is reduced up to 10 percent using the 4012 I'm going to go ahead and take this, put it back in my Iwata, and I'm going to lightly spray plastic. Rather than spraying the body of the guitar, I'm going to spray the plastic. I'm going to hold it out here and spray it like this, and then I'm going to dab it all over it. What it's going to do is create this uh, design on the guitar, 
And from that point, I'm going to wait until that dries, and then I'm going to clear coat that. And what it's going to do is in the morning, I'm going to come in and I'm going to sand the clear coat with 600. And then I'm going to take, um, take and tape out some designs on top of that surface. And then I'm going to airbrush skulls all around that so that the design kind of stands out. Classic now. And I'm going to lightly spray it and then dab it on. I'm just going to do this throughout the entire guitar. I'll get up in all these areas here, all the way around the edges. I'm going to put just a little bit more on. Now that I've got all that on there, I'm going to turn my air pressure up just a little bit and I'm going to lightly dust silver over everything. I'm only pour, pulling quarter trigger or you can turn your adjusting valve, um, your knob here on the back. To adjust the choke on it also. Okay, it's taken up to probably 35 minutes to, um, at this point, maybe 40, to do everything I've done. Before you clear it, take wax and grease remover and spray it on a rag lightly. Don't spray it on the surface itself, but spray it on a rag and wipe over everything. But you've got to make sure that this is dry first. I like to wait about 15-20 minutes to make sure that it's dry before you wipe wax and grease over it. But I'm going to throw a clear coat on it here in just a second. And I'm using an inexpensive clear to begin with because I'm going to sand that clear in the morning and I'm going to do my artwork and then I'm going to put a high solids clear on top of it after that. Now tap it off from that point and let's get some clear on it.